Come on, game, load up for me. <laughs> so here we are. So we're going to be doing tournaments and some viewer battles and giving away all the packs. So should be in for a good time. So first up, what are we going to play for this first tournament? Um, I think I'm going to play some control because that's my favorite. Oh, nice. Get in right away. Hopefully we don't face a ton of bots like we did last time. But <laughs> it's probably going to happen. We get a hello from our opponent. Uh, well, hello, L uh, LJ Bryan over there. Uh, or EJ Bryan. Um, okay, this hand is weird. Oh, we're okay with this. Lugia. So it's not a bot. Alright, good. I'd rather get... Well, I want to win and get packs, but... I'd rather face not bots. And have some decent games than just face bots. And just have to wait an hour in, in between rounds. Okay, Lugia V coming down. Should be a pretty solid matchup for us. Um, our, our hand it, it is quite good, and they didn't get a single archive stone. So, I'm not going to speed yet. I'm going to course first. Um, Sydney's good. Capture and boss are good. We have to ditch Darley, but that's okay. Burn the frog. Conceal cards. The capture. Okay. So I want to speed to the red lucky. Build this hand a little bit. Hand is awkward for sure. I'll bench you a Veltal to Marnie proof myself. And then I'll sonar back the uh, chorus so I can build this hand a little more. Uh, not a great first turn, but we'll take it. About as good as we, as, as we, we could ask for. We'd like energy for the crowd destruction at Capes. Have a couple bosses in hand, which is, is nice. All right. Hopefully, your opponent does not have. Archaeops, but there is an incense, so they definitely could. There's an Archaeops V. Archaeops V. Or just regular Archaeops. I don't know what the Archaeops is, but. And to read when they are breaking out. Okay. This is a weird call with Sydney because they didn't attach an energy. Well, Sydney might be trying to play around card destruction, so I'm going to Sydney. It was the right call. Ooh, Double Turbo or Aurora? So if I do this, they can't Raikou. Uh, this is weird. They still can Raikou because they, they, they play speed, but they're playing Jammer. They're playing Flying Peak, so they definitely like speed, so I'll do this. This is fine. I will... We'll conceal card the capture. Um, we can cave to this Yveltal, and then just uh, sonar back to the Sydney. Sort of apply pressure to their hand. Uh, make it so they, they they have to be careful with their attachments. Well, awfully good start. Got two energies gone uh, before they've even attacked and taken a prize yet. So there is a flying Pikachu. Who I lost zoned my uh, vacuum in the first turn, and they're definitely they're probably playing Parasol with flying Pika. So this that could be a pretty big m misplay, but we'll see. Time will tell. Uh, come on, opponent. You had an ultra ball in hand, you had Serena, you had cards. You had ultra, ultra ball for Archeops, discard it with Serena, summoning star, start swinging. I should not have to play your hand for you. <laughs> There's a Lugia. Come on. Please. Nothing grinds my gears more than people who have everything in hand, but play slowly. <laughs> Well, I just, I, this sort of comes over from me playing I IRL too, but I played an incredibly fast pace of play, like on TCGO and IRL, and it just sort of bothers me when like other people just like play slowly, which, I mean, so sometimes, sometimes just people just have slower play styles and that's fine, but when you're just like blatantly playing, so like either to, 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 to troll me or to like actually maliciously slow play, that's where I get very annoyed. There's the Archeops, like we told them to do five minutes ago. The Raikou leaving is fine. Raikou is kind of a weird attacker because it, it can be a solid closer for them, taking two prizes to win the, the game, but it's not it's not great because it's a lot of energy commitment. If I just cry destruction, that's just trapped there and it's awkward to move. So it's not 
very good to use in that early game. And my opponent really has to start getting going, otherwise that Sydney's going to keep pressuring their hand over and over again. We know they have that one Aurora still in hand. Not anymore. It's, it's in play. So, yeah, summon some stars. There are the two Archaeops coming down. So, this Red Lucky is going to be going down. We're going to need the, the, this Chorus to find um, a double turbo or a twin. A couple power, they're committing powerfuls early. I don't know why, because don't they want to save those for things like Stoutland? Huh. Like when you want to commit captures or even du double turbo? Well, maybe, maybe not double turbo, but still. Weird. All right, well, I'm going to quick ball out Snorlax. Uh, who should we find? I think we should find uh, another Yveltal. Regilecki could be good. I think I'm going to go another Regilecki. Or if the back would be a belt also. Course is experiments. No energy just yet. We need to conceal cards to get us there. So come on, Greninja. Come through. There we go. Good boy. I'll bench a Yveltal for the pivot. Bench for Regilecki just in case. But I don't want to discard any of these cards, so I'm not going to play the quick ball just yet. And then we'll cry the three powerfuls off. So... Solid position early on here. It's five energies down, seven in play, so they have nine left to take five prizes. And so, yeah, great, great early, early position. We've we've drawn well enough. Once we start to get some more people in chat, I have a nice PDCGL rant uh, ahead of uh, this weekend's video. Okay. So, our opponent, Bird Keeper. I definitely like them spending that just to draw cards because uh, that means our trap later on could um, automatically force energies. But our hand, we are sort of lacking. Like, we have the, the guys in hand, but we just don't have the energies, which is sort of one of the critical ingredients. It would be really annoying if they dropped a, a parasol because we need the energy and we need to draw cards like a Bruno. But we also would have to gust around because we did the, the parasol. So uh, there's gonna be the double turbo coming on down. And we've taken out my Yveltal. That was to be expected. Now we can sort of leave this Lugia trapped in the active spot if we can find a double turbo or, or, or a twin. Which we, we have plenty of outs. Our deck is getting thinned out a little bit. We've ready for Ninja for a little extra push. So hopefully we do end up getting there. Tempest Dive for knockout. Uh, Alright, so. Promoting your belts all. Uh, not yet. So I'm going to quick ball. I don't foresee us needing middle tank. Go ahead and throw it in him back, though, if we need him later on. We'll thin out the mana fee. So I think I can steal cards now because I would like to Sydney potentially. Or, uh, yeah, so Sydney. If we hit a double turbo off this. Not yet. So there is a Suian. Three gallery mines. I didn't check my prizes this game. I don't think I want to grab this Norlax. Three mines, all my mines. And there's Thornton too. Oof. Alright, I'm gonna bench everything. I'll net to reset the Greninja. Do I bench Manaphy too? No, I, I'm not worried about Raikou. So come on, Bruno. Ugh. Alright, quick ball. Maybe I have the Peonia to fish out those Galar mines. But, alright. Come on, frog. You prize no double energy, so there we go. Better late than never. So, strip all the energy off the Luki of V-Star. And, yeah, that's that's pretty good for us. That's six, eight, nine. So, uh, seven left. Right, eight, eight down, one in play. All right, so seven left. Good deal. There is a Luminion. Cannot awkward turn into us. So we can to see what they grab. Maybe a Marnie, which I hope you sort of okay with because I do want a Peonia, but I also want to make sure I find another energy to maintain the cry destruction. So they're definitely in a weird spot because if you use like to keep using Lugia is going to have to force them to commit four energies per turn. And it's gonna be awkward to move this Lugia considering they're already committed to Bird Keeper. So I 
definitely think my opponent, I mean, but this is where second Lugia is completely worthless and actually an active detriment because now they can't, like, they much rather that Lugia spot be an or Oranguru, a Luminion, Stoutland, just something else, but they, you just never need to go for second Lugia going first. This is a, a good uh, matchup that illustrates that. Like, very rarely should you go for second Lugia going first because now it's just, it's just an active detriment. Like, you don't, don't need it and it just really gums up your board you are, and you're playing the flying Pikachu build too where, but your bench are even more premium so oh <laughs> it's it, it's ladder now they're wait, we're gonna see a hiding energy which we have, haven't really seen in Lugia since they cut Crobat all the colored energy is coming down so no energy in my no that's bad that is very bad. Okay, we need on Gus now. Okay, right of lucky, it is. That is horrible. Are we gonna lose this game now? All right, we'll do this. Speed things up. Oof. Um, I haven't committed a boss yet, have I? I don't want to conceal cards, but I think I have to dig a little deeper and get close to a boss. No boss yet. Okay, what do we do here? I'll, uh, so I sonar for sure. But what do we grab? What is the play? Chorus, Bruno. Bruno might, might be nice to put cards back into our deck later down the line. But I think that's what I like. I'm going to grab Bruno. Yikes. I was afraid of Parasol. I... I didn't know it was flying Pikachu after that first, uh, first Cora. So I blindly threw the lost vacuum into the prior into the lost zone. So now we're a bit, we're definitely not in as good a position as we were. Oh, we we still won this one. Maybe we could have gotten that too. I don't know. I think Brianna's fine because our deck is definitely dwindling a little bit. Pratt's peak is really long because now we can't read in We need to talk to the boss. Alright, come on. We have two bosses in deck. Please. Is this it now? Did we just lose? Hit one energy. That's good. Pass to the bench and pass. Well, that was kind of a lame way to go down. Three. 7, 8, 9, 13, 14. We can win this. We need top deck boss. Come on. Boss of the top. Well, rip. That's the game, I think. Darn it. Pressing three mines is doomed with me. Right? I don't think it's... Can I... I can't dump that drop. I mean, I have eight parasol anyway. Well, yeah, that's everything unraveled after that parasol. Because if we have boss, we can boss up that Lugia V star, and they're down uh, eight energies. They have thirteen energies committed. I can cry three off. Then they they would need to have like a bird keeper or something, second bird keeper or something to win. But we just don't have enough. We need to find a boss and couldn't quite get there. So promising start, but the parasol did. Do must in the end. So well played my opponent. Unfortunate to find the, the way I drew my cards and I had to loss in the vacuum early on, but it is what it is. Well, uh, all right. Let's, let's try again. What should I, did I pass it? I probably did. I'm not paying attention. There we go. Hopefully these, these fill up. Oh my goodness, come on. What did you just like, leave? I have 142 tickets. Like, I gotta spend these the next three weeks. But people leave. Well, what do we do now? Uh, do you play, play a game of ladder while we, we wait? Or anyone, any of you two wonderful people in chat want to play? You, you, you do viewer battles. I don't care. Just um, 
I mean, I, I won't use my tickets up, and I don't mind giving away the, the packs to any of you in chat, but I can't give packs away if tournaments don't fill. I know I'm not pro streaming at the best time either, but come on. It, 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 it's Friday. There's two people. I was afraid of this. All right, well, just one, please. Thank you. Thank you, Fancy Duck. I, I, I forgot to turn my mic back on. Thank you. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Um, can you guys hear me now? Or did I, did I, did I scuff the things up? You can hear me? All right, cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, can Keep moving along here. I'm playing a very funny deck and expanded. The good old checkmate. Oh, VIP best busted. We still have an another Voltorb in case of um, a sc scrambles in deck and Slyra. So we do need. You can hear me now? All right, cool. Cool, cool. Thank you, chat. I forgot to turn my, my mic book back on. So thank you. Definitely need Cyrus. Uh, do we need? I want to keep all these cards. This quick ball is awkward, but I think we quick ball the stretcher and grab Dragonite. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm doing good. How you? How about you, Fancy Duck? How are you? 
just trying to get my tickets done for, before live, and I got a heck of a live rant if y'all are ready for it. Because I, what, I got triggered yesterday. I freaking hate TCG Live. That thing is a disgrace, and I don't know how a client that is 10 years old can run better than a, and then they're like new fancy client. Like it is horrible, and I like I'm, I'm playing on mobile. I'm like I'm playing and streaming. Do all my things on on mobile. Don't worry about that yet. And I can't even, I can't record without lagging. It's like I'm so concerned about what, what direction my content's gonna gonna go after live comes out because I can't even, I can't do it. Like I just I don't have a. I don't have any other options, so I'm really concerned. That's why I'm working hard on this video for probably will come out Sunday, because I'm sure there's a lot of other people who are in the same boat as me that like TC Live looks horrible to play, and I don't want to play it. So I don't. I know people don't don't want to watch it. So I just don't really know what to to, to do about everything. It's it's kind of everything about it sucks. So. I don't know. I just, I care so much about this game. I've been playing this game for, for such a long time. I just hate seeing stupid things like this happen. I don't know how such, like, Pokemon isn't a weak IP. Like, they're one of the st strongest and most popular media franchises. And you're telling me that PCGL is the best they can do? It, like, I, it just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Do I drop, drop the, the swell yet? I don't think I, I care. I know, I had an issue yesterday. I was playing in a tournament on Limitless, and I I was playing in a tournament on Limitless, and luckily I was playing Control, and I checkmated my opponent, so it didn't matter. But I just it completely drew past my turn right away. I couldn't do anything, and no trash slime fancy deck. We got this one. Three energies down. Do I care? I probably do. Trash w would be funny, but this is expanded. We just face bots. All NPC is an expanded. Expanded is 100% NPC. All right. Well, this is this is the game. We got there. Wait, no. I still need. I still need. Get to be, I need a Dialga Beast to hold up. Not game yet. Calm down, James. Hold up. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Okay. Unknown. Crobat. Oh my goodness. If I miss this, I'm going to be so sad. It's not like... No, I, I have this. We have this guaranteed. With with the carrier, we have this, right? Yes, we do. We we see th three cards, and we have shoe and two Dialgas. So we got this. Wait, I guess shoe Dialga. Dialga could be my bottom three card, but no. Don't need to use scramble switch. See ya. There we go. And Metal Blast. GG. Busted Duck, one card left, turn two. Welcome to Expanded. All right. Hopefully we didn't get done too fast. Ah, dang it. <laughs> no. Uh, now what do we do? <laughs> oh, no, chat. What, what do we do now? I did not plan for this. I, I, I need to have, have a better... I know Expanded is Solitaire. Expanded sucks. I, I don't... I, I know the format's definitely under-optimized because there isn't really a reason to optimize Expanded right now. But, like, my opponent had no chance. I, I know they were playing a bot deck, and it didn't really matter. But I just played my... Like, as, I drew the cards I needed to, so I won. Like, even if I did have... Um, kill time? Well, how do I kill time? I didn't plan for this. I can't just, I can't just, I can't just fast forward. I gotta actually wait 15 minutes here. What do we do? I didn't, I didn't have a plan for this. I mean, if anyone wants to see the, the, 
the expanded list. Here it is. It's nothing. It's n no secret sauce. Everyone runs on ladder. It's completely broken. <laughs> yeah, I need a four beauty though. That'd be. Do I, do, do I have one? I don't. I need to pick up the bling. But other than that, other than that, we're, we're pretty close to max rarity. I don't have an alternate Tina Chomp too either. Nubler. I need to trade a Tina Chomp too. I have five. Oop. Okay. Events. Come on. Play. No, I'm not. I haven't even tried that that deck. Was that you who who emailed me that? I haven't tried that yet. I I can't play it because I'm stuck in a tournament. Jolteon lost bugs. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. I tried Jolteon when Radiant Alkazam came out, and I was like, okay, this has to work, and it didn't. <laughs> it just didn't. Okay, it was you. I, I, that's what I figured, because I think you mentioned something in Gabe Smart's Twitch chat about it, and I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure that's who it is, but I didn't know, because it didn't it didn't have your email, or, or it didn't have, like, Fancy Duck on the email or whatever, so I, was like, I wasn't sure, but. So, come on, tournament. Two people. We need two more. What do we do, chat? Come on. Uh, do I show off the top secret deck? Nope. Two top, two, two, two top secret. Okay, who was he? All right, I was, I wasn't sure, and yeah. Oh uh, man, I should have planned better for this. I I have in the last stream where I just got done too fast, and then. You just end up too much downtime, which isn't isn't great, but especially with expansion, everything's so fast. Or either like so fast or grindy, grindy games that are so slow. Oh well, I just need to delete some decks. Right, keep that. Electricity. See ya. Uh, what even is this? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a thing. Okay, come on, tournament. Please cooperate. Um, I've tried streaming on Twitch before, and it's something that I can do. I just, I'm trying to build up on YouTube here first, so if I want to build my community up here on YouTube, I, I, I guess what, what I'm I'm trying to say is I'm trying to build up here on, on YouTube and yes, eventually I do plan to move all my streaming over to Twitch, but um, I, I don't see a whole lot of point in streaming in two places where I'm just trying to build this one channel to a point where I can, um, like, yeah, I, I do plan to stream on Twitch eventually, but uh, not for the uh, near future, but hopefully one day we, we get to that point. Because I, I have before, but... Since I started doing YouTube, I just figured it made more sense to keep it all, all in the same place. Like I have seven followers on on Twitch. So I'll Twitch it in the description. It's just twitch.tv slash all blitzel. But oh, I don't put it in in the description because I I I don't I'm not very active on it. Like I last streamed January twelfth or something. So and I, I mean I got I got whopping seven followers. So <laughs> I don't like. Reaching Twitch monetization seems a lot more reasonable than YouTube monetization, but I just want to keep everything here. Like, have the we have the community here on, on YouTube, and we're uh, that's what I'm really focused on right now. I don't have time to work on building up two different places at, at once, but hopefully I get to that point in in one day. And um, yeah, I I can put, start putting the, the the Twitch in my YouTube d description, but um, I don't know. Like, I'm not very active on there. Like, I don't. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's in my YouTube about, so if you really dig for it, you can find it, but I'm not, like, just going to plug it because, I don't know, it's it's not, like, it's anything special. Uh, poor planning. <laughs> what do we do? I wish I could delete theme decks. Like, I do not like these just sitting on my screen. I want to ax them. I don't care. I, mean, I never play theme. We should do a theme tournament. That'd be elite. What's the best theme deck? That'd be high scale elite gaming right there. 
I have a few team decks. I don't. I don't buy team decks though. And they and they completely did got rid of team decks, right? Improve the BDIF list. What is BDIF? Lugia. Jolteon. Oh, I don't have that Jolteon. I think you mean Jolteon Lasso, and I don't have that build. Um. <laughs> Jolteon Lasso. Uh, I will not be improving Guilty on Lost Zone. I'm sorry. BDIF is right here. Let me just find it for you in case you are mistaken. It's this. This is BDIF. Make no mistake about it. This, my friend, is BDIF. There you go. I gave you BDIF. What else do you possibly need? I bird keeper instead of stadium. Oh, did you use my list? Uh, great job, Jonathan Meza. That's that's pretty awesome. I'm I, I'm happy that you had success with it. That's that's awesome. And finally, round two. What was it online or was it IRL? Go on first. Let's go. Nope. Oh, come on. We, we ain't going first. We should we should win this camp. We're gonna we're gonna everyone in expanded is NPCs, right? Lightning coin and sleeves maybe could be peek around. Oh, Dragon Knight open is not good. The hands okay. It's not great, but we we can work with this. What is this? Boltons? Mill tank. Do you want was with it? Alright, thank you. I believe you. World was just last weekend, so. Makes sense. Scrambles in there. Cyrus is in there. Six energies. Alright. Well, congratulations for winning World. That's, that, that's awesome. I'm really happy for you. Compressor busted. All right, see energies. <laughs> Lecture we like to keep around. Um, I mean, that's just a plus one card anyway. So I think we just discard it. Oh gosh, we need this net. Net. Uh, okay, we're still alive. We need an uh, un unknown. One card of the farewell letter. We need to have a VIP. Uh, I mean, or a Voltorb, I guess, would work. Like a Crobat, Quick Ball. Uh, oh, okay. I guess I'd take a... No, I, I can't net. I can't go back into Tina. Trainer's Mail. Oh, let's go. Bust the deck. Alright. Oh, I, I only have one unknown, though, left. Okay. Well, at least we get a Voltorb down. But now we need a Dialga down. We're not... Not there yet. Oh, crud. Well, okay. We, we pass. That was not good. We did not get the thing down. We did not draw very well. We needed those shoes to be kinder to us. But shoes did not get us there. How? Okay, we're going to an NPC, though. We are fine. How? <laughs> what the heck? My goodness. I swear, Pokemon TCG tournaments are the most scoffed experience. Dialga's trashy, but this is expanded. Everything's trashy and expanded. Expanded is just a cesspool of garbage. Like nothing great. Well, what do we do here? Uh, he's passed. <laughs> I love this game. If I lose this NPC deck, I will I will dumpster this Dialga deck. I will legitimately just I'll hit the trash can. It will be terminated. Uh oh, the Bolt and Vmax they're going in. Oh no, down Dragon's gonna go down. <laughs> All right, top deck stretcher. Come on. That's true, fancy deck. I I 
I agree, actually. Miltank, Boltund, he's one of the great... Come on, why do you give me that now? I do not like that. That is disrespectful. Miltank, Boltund is one of the greatest decks in Pokemon TCG history. I think that if Miltank, Boltund really got to show its, its prime... I mean, with, with how, of course, it never got to show its prime in the TCG. Uh, everyone would know how great it was. Uh-oh. We're kind of in trouble... Laser? No, don't not put me to sleep. Okay, good. <laughs> I might lose this game. Like, if I don't top deck something this this turn, I just lose, I think. Which is sort of funny. I right, max bolt. Ouch. Okay, we need a top deck. I, I mean, I guess we can Thunder Wave and sort of... Okay, Crobat is definitely something. But I can't really drop these Auroras, though. Right? For... No, because I prized energies. So it looks like it needs to go into a Dialga, but I also have to thin my hand out, so this is really bad. Wait, no, I can, I, I can go in here because I'm going to scramble back into the Dialga, so this is fine. Or into the, into the DM shop. <sighs> I don't think my hand actually got any better. I think we're just dead in the water. Right? Well... Maybe not yet. We just we have to just punch with DL. Well, I can't punch with DL V. What do we do? I think I just lose. I lost lost to NPC chat. Wait, do, do I just GG end? No, I can't GG end. What do I? I just lost. Well, maybe maybe Milton Bolton is the greatest deck ever. Um. Wait, he can't use bolts from two turns in a row. Or max bolts, whatever it's called. Uh, this has to be it. We just temporal rupture. And this is gonna win me the game. Right, chat? Alright. The good old temporal rupture and pray. <laughs> if I lose, that's just good. I mean, it'll make some great content, but. <laughs> Alright, temporal rupture. I'm actually pretty close to like if, if they do not have the the bolt storm for the game, I I'm pretty close to winning. Cause I have the Cyrus, I have the Dialga V Star, RCS V, Ranguru. If, if if they can switch and bolt storm again or Gus and KO something on the bench, Fion, Fion's really bad. Wait, do they just win off that Fion? Yep, they do. Come on, no, because they just. Bolt Storm. They have six. Yeah, they kill bad and win. Are you kidding me? Maybe, maybe they don't see it. It is an NPC after all. Okay, there's the Bolt on. Poor Mr. NPC. Just punch with the Bolt Storm. You don't need to take your Fountain Prizes. You don't need those. Those won't help you. You just used. Ah. Uh, well, we tried. No. Yeah. Well, Bolton is officially the greatest deck of all time. And there's not a lot we can do about it. Alright. I'm a man of my word. My expanded career is over. See ya. Do, do, do. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that was fun. No, we're not playing. Can you even get anything good in theme? Do I dare play theme, chat? Which one I buy? Standard, expanded, a theme? First person in chat. I will literally play whatever. <laughs> or if anyone in chat wants to purse, wants to view about me, just just type in chat too, and we can. We can do that. Here we go. What are you Brilliant stars. Let's open, let's open you guys. Over. Well, yeah. Expanded is over. Oh, poor Bolton. Ooh. Wait, he's got an instant scoop? No, that was, that was my, my first turn. Okay, I'll hold up. 
Oh, you're in school. You can't. Okay. No problem. No problem. <laughs> Why are you watching? I mean, thank you for watching my uh, screenwriting school. Just don't get in trouble. Like, if you're supposed to be doing something else, don't don't get in trouble for me. I'm not that important. Come on. PCG packs are rigged. Okay, well. <laughs> I, I mean, I, whoa, that's a pull. I don't, that's probably the best one I've ever got from a chest. <laughs> wow. That's pretty awesome. Well, that was, that's pretty cool. Do I have any other? Oh, yeah. Well, it is spring break around here, um, too. Today is the last. Day. Yeah, lucky indeed. Okay. All right, standard. Come on, don't fill up on me. What? What do we play? Uh, let's play some. Let's just play some. No, come on. Oh, I I, I thought about it for, for too long. Dang it. Let's play some of the Asian also. Now we gotta wait for six hours again. Oh well, we can do this. <laughs> yeah, oof it indeed. Um, uh, we can go off a very funny deck that I just showed off on what was it, Thursday now. Yeah, and this deck is funny, but it's not very good. But it's very funny. It makes people very uh, upset and makes them quit against you, which is it, it, it's it's pretty good. Spirit Dream is the funniest card in the deck for sure. Should I, should I play this in, in a tournament chat? I mean, that should. I mean, this deck is a pretty Lugia and you matchup, but it's like horrible against everything else. It is definitely the Lugia. Card. You just gotta if you hit like anything else, you press that button in the top right, and then you move on, and it's okay. Come on, we're so close. Six people. We need two more. We need to do uh, my four friends online. Not the best time to probably be streaming. I usually, I, I mean, last time I streamed, it was a uh, weekend morning. So I feel like a lot of people were online, but I had time to see this afternoon. So figured why not? This deck is pretty funny, too. I like this deck quite a bit. It might be one of my favorites. Builds a Lost Unbox right now. It might be my my favorite. I just... I don't like this. This needs to be this. We need... I hate having just one cram like that. Because I had prize cram, and like, I just cry because I have no fun pressure. Alright. Reset. Come on, get in there. One more, please. I've waited 400 years just to play in a tournament. There we go. All right, please know an NPC. We're on an actual game. Yeah. All right, calling heads. Of course, always heads. Let's go. If you use the blue mu, the blue mu coin, and call heads, you will always. Get Go first. Proven fact. Almost as overpowered as the Fennekin coin. Busted hands. Man, if I. Sh what? Slugia Mew? What? <laughs> what is happening? Welcome to BTCGO, I guess. <laughs> This is Mew Lugia. Mew Gia. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Okay, we just see the Mews. Okay, I mean, Kyogre's always busted against Mew. We got the frog. 
Not you. We want to come play. Okay, we, okay, we, are, we have a Kyogre. Double Recycler. Uh, Prize a Gates. Prize a Chorus. Uh, nothing too bad. I've thought of Lost and Vega in the past, but I just can't. I just don't. I, I can't think of a reason why it'd be better than just plain um, LCB. Or, like, and not. Why it would be better than regular LCB, and also how it would be better than uh, the Melanie builds. Like, maybe if you went, like, all turbo and tried to. Tried to really uh, get that turn one paralyzing bolt, which I don't know if that's more consistent than just going second playing Melanie. But I don't know. I, I haven't played it at, at all, so. Uh, yeet. Do, do, do we quick ball thin? No, I don't mind it. Oh, we'll grab another one of these guys. Another flower selecting. Oof. Bird keepers, my hand's not just dead. Attach sword. Busted card. Lost on you? No. I do not think so. <laughs> Lost on you. I do yeah. I mean, I'm probably using Lugia Mew, just considering that opening hand with Lu with uh, Mew and powerful energies. I actually want to see this work. Like, I feel like this could be very funny. But why would you just play, like, Meloetta if you're playing Fusion Energy and Lugia? Like, why would you even bring you along? And we just see an energy mix. So if Zacian could take this knockout, we just, like, win this game, right? Lost on a turn. Just stop. <laughs> it keeps getting worse. Jolteon was fine. And everything after that, just, we started going off the rails a little bit. So let's just calm down with our lost sound combos. I think I just grab Kyogre and just make sure he he's safe. He's not in, in harm's way. Rope is kind of funny. Oh, okay, cool. We just... I just need a switching card now. We... Uh, Rainy Psychic Energy. Do I, need, do, I, do I need a gate is the better question. Um, five. So I get to six. I just take the knockout on the Genesect. Their hand was so dead. I don't think it really matters. I guess we have a Rangru and a Rangru can. What do we stack? I guess a Bird Keeper. Oh my goodness. What a busted card. Let's go. A Rangru busted. So, Break Blade, and that should be the game. See him, you with a powerful energy. <laughs> lost and Lugia. Now we've just lost all sanity. That'd be funny, though, if I get, if it ever becomes a point where there's a better colorless Pokemon to grab than Archeops that you like could go a different direction with Lugia. You see a quick ball off the top. <laughs> lost them. How about Lost Zone Palkia? Or Lost Zone uh, Miltank? Not gonna matter, my friend. The Miltank, yeah, Miltank is showing up today. Every NPC plays Miltank. <laughs> Miltank. I'm just gonna play quad Miltank and just see if I win a, a tournament game. Ooh, that's th this is a funny card. Of all my energies in my hand, and a scoop. Let's go. Grab Miltank with- Oh, Miltank with Luke, yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. Yes, that's, that's definitely the most efficient way to put Miltank onto your bench. I can't think of a better way to do it. Not like it's a basic that we can just drop right down. It would definitely be one heck of a star to summon. Alright. <laughs> that would be... That would be a baller moment. I, I, one of my life goals, appear on, on a TCGO stream and then summoning star for double Miltank. 
I would lose that game 100%, but I'd be a legend. Ooh, Plasma Freeze Pack. Who wants it? Anyone in chat wants this Plasma Freeze Pack? Or, or do we open it? We just pulled out all our Calyrex, and maybe we, we pulled the Gold Ultra Ball. If I, if I pulled the Gold Ultra Ball, I would legitimately give it away. All right, I'm going I'm to open it, chat. And if, and if we pull anything good, we're going to give it away. I've never owned a Plasma Freeze Gold Ultra Ball. All right, come on. There we go. Plasma Freeze Gold Ultra Ball. Come on. That'd be sick. I mean, I already had insane luck to. Nope. About reality. Oh, we have vanilla, vanilla, and Vanillux, though. That might be the. Oh, my goodness. We evolved in the one whole pack. And got double EV. My goodness. My luck today. Whew. All right. <sighs> oh, man. I'm a giant meme. Uh, one more game. One more game. I might get to live already. New move. Live is garbage. <laughs> oh. I, yeah. I, mean, I feel bad for everyone who was in Canada and just like lived right or just migrated uh, right off the, the, the bat. Because I can't believe the game's not for so long and it's still so trash. Like, I, I played it for the, the very first time yesterday. Like, I, I'm, I'm generally a very optimistic person. Like, I try to look on the, the bright side when possible, but I could legitimately not find a bright side to put Pokemon TCG live. Like, I, crafting system, rank ladder are great ideas. They're just executed so poorly. Like, those ideas would be great if the game actually played like it's supposed to play. But everything's so choppy. I honestly wouldn't surprise me if, if the people who designed this game have never actually played a game of Pokemon cards in their life. Because the game does not feel like Pokemon. Uh, Alright, I'll see you in a bit, Fancy Duck. Uh, we will... Um, yeah, you better come back, and you better have Lost and Jolteon ready, or you'll be banned. <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. But... <laughs> Alright, come on, one more round. Five viewers, man. You guys are awesome. I yeah I I I'm actually surprised that anyone wants to wants to hear me talk and watch my my live stream. Yeah, crafting is pretty good. Like if they just added crafting to TCGO, added some some ranks ladder, the battle pass is cool. But like, there's no reason that the graphics of a ten year old game should look better than a brand new game. Like, why does this look better than TCGL? <laughs> oh, but yeah, I, honestly, like, just having five people in my chat just sort of astonishes me. Like, do people want to hear me talk? I don't know. I just feel like when I'm just, like, talking in my videos, I feel like I'm just, like, I can't even speak. Like, I just, like, stutter, and I just sound like garbage. And I, like, makes me, like, it kind of just makes me so surprised that people actually spend, like, watch, like, hundreds of views on my videos. Like, I don't think they're that... Like, maybe I'm just too hard on myself, and I just, I really a perfectionist, and just, like, everything I do, whether it be school, Pokemon, content creation, um, gameplay, deck building, anything, I'm just, like, such a per perfectionist, and maybe that's why, I mean, maybe, maybe my content is better than it actually is, or th than I perceive it as, but, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I'm only doing this for two months like no one no one could expect doing this good or we're we, we doing like i'm not gonna get a million subscribers in a day but i mean i'm just making stuff that i i'm just gonna keep making stuff that i genuinely w would watch and i don't really care if oh, th oh oh thank you i'm just i'm trying to sort of get my foot in the door and i just enjoy i mean, i'm playing Pokemon one every day anyway so i mean i can spend a few extra minutes that I would normally just be spent brainstorming or playing to make a video and some people get enjoyment out of it or some people learn something from it. So it doesn't, yeah, it just, um, I, I enjoy spending a little extra time that it, it, it would it'd be to make the videos just to give some other people some enjoyment, I guess. So I'm trying to say, I'm sorry if I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like sometimes I just have such a tough time speaking. And it's been a problem that I've had, uh, like, all my life. And it's just...
sort of frustrating like that oh I start talking to friends and family like it's fine but it's like it's something about just like turning on the camera and just like talking that it's just something different I don't know uh I haven't I haven't made my, my my video yet for tomorrow though so any any suggestion would be appreciated like I have some I, ideas but I'm always looking for suggestions like if there's any sh shorts or videos that any of you guys would like to see like always drop in the, in the comments or just any questions you have or um you you don't want to leave it don't want to leave them in my in the comments my my emails always in the description too if you want to directly reach me like I'm I'm, I'm happy that if any of you have any questions, like gameplay questions, like I, I want to learn how to do this, or I want to, or he's drawn on. If we want to, if you want me to help you with your, your list, you want me, me to help you prepare for a tournament, I'm more than happy to help any of, of you guys. And that's, um, so my, my email is always open. Just shoot me an email. It's probably the, uh, I mean, yeah, if you don't want to, like leaving a big block of text in, in, in the comments where everyone else can see it. Um, yeah, definitely can send me an email and I'll get it. Oh my goodness, my phone has nothing. But unfortunately, neither do I. Or I just suck the sable eye. I think we do. What control cards am I looking forward to the next deck? I think Spide Ops is, is interesting. Spide Ops and Penny are probably so the Spide Ops EX are probably the two most interesting ones. I saw that Sander post on, on his Twitter. There's like a hypno, I think, from Lost Origin where you can um just put a couple evolutions onto your bench, and then, but I, I think, does so that Azumar, that Azumar stays in format, right? Like, like you play like a Zoroark based control deck that like you turn the Zoroark into the Spide Ops, and you have the, the Azumar to, to keep guessing up bosses cards, or just that uh, Mimikyu Penny loop that we've seen people sort of experiment with. I do think that that's, that is gonna be sort of fragile because if that ever becomes a mainstream deck, I know control loses a lot. Um, if that Penny um, Mim Mimikyu control loop ever becomes mainstream, there's just gonna be it's just gonna be be tacked for and like Mew already has an, a natural work workaround, and there's just like every, every type has a uh, shred style as attacker, so we definitely have to have a backup plan. But I think it could work. So I, I'm thinking that like as the format gets deeper and we can like have more cards, I definitely think control is gonna be uh, weak right off. Um, right away though for sure but i i think a, a zorwark based control deck playing spide ops could be pretty fun and just like uh, as we get more stage ones that a zorwark could turn into gosh this hand is like i have to evolve but i also need a sword i'm <laughs> we're we're screwed here i think all right well let's evolve and pass and maybe we'll because I, I can't just sit here. They just find drill on the max and we just lose. Yeah, so I made the right play. We drew a brick, though. Here. They're not drawing bad at all, though. Oh, well. Luck has not been in my favor today. I've had a couple bricks, but... Also, I'm playing sort of a more meme build of the deck, so I can't really be too, too upset. It'll be interesting to, to see, like, what direction control goes, because I'll... Uh, me to be union stays right so uh, i mean i always love that but i don't really know well bye um i don't really know what direction that like gardevoir can just hit limitless numbers and has limitless energies so i think to be able to beat gardevoir you'll have to have um so, like a way to trap their pokemon in play which will have echoing horn uh manaphy promo uh, things like that to trap stuff on the bench, but that's probably not going to be a smart player. So it'll definitely be interesting to see what way things go. So we have, we have coin your pack. What? Let's let's get a pack of Silver Tempest. I still have yet to pull a Luigi V Star on in Silver Tempest. So uh, right, Silver Tempest. All right, I pass it. I did. I'm cringe. The investor control is a lot. I'm losing Gorman dies, uh, Galar mine. Uh, I mean, just always a, a deep format's gonna help control because you have so many more cards that you can do 
mean, mean things with, but um, not a ton. I mean, yeah, not a ton to work with, at least right off the bat. But I'm sure Sandra will find some way to make control broken. <laughs> All right, let's let's hop into another one. What do we, we, we play this time? Control again? Uh, let's, let's give a run with ditto control. This is it, right? I'm gonna play this deck in a bit, but we'll give it a run. Dang it, one out of eight. I should have entered the tournament and then bought the pack. Inefficiency, darn. Uh, well, I guess I can show off the the control lists. Uh, where is it? There it is. Here we go. This is what I'm currently rocking with. I don't think I've changed it much lately. It's what it has been for a while. I sort of, I, I do prefer the Eldegoss builds, but I think this build is, it's not bad. It's just a bit more fragile. It needs to have a lot more, it needs to have, um, you need to draw, you have to just draw better because you are a bit inconsistent. But if you, if, if you don't, all right, no one's joining my tournament. Dang it. This is the flaw to this, this style of stream because sometimes people just don't join these. Which is, it's all right. I guess we'll play a game of ladder. Let's see, let's play some ditto control on ladder. There you are. All right. Get it, find, find a game right away this time. Not good, but we will. We, we don't mind too much losing the flip. Um. All right, we are okay with sand. Going to be capture for Snorlax and Gormandize. Got a couple Minchinos and a Ditto, so we're actually sitting pretty nice. Rayquaza awesome box. So we're going to be trying to use Ice Q. And it'll just come down to whether they're playing Temple or not. It's fun. Oh, he's Topic Lax. Boss of card. So th they open with the Radiant Greninja, which isn't. It, it's pretty good. I mean, of course, I'd rather start at Comfey, but Radiant Greninja is an okay alternative. Snorlax on the bench. And I mean, they haven't slid down any VIPs, so that's that's good for us. Oh man, they had a very bad first turn. So we'll sit in to scout the hands. Hit a path to the peak. What? I. I path to the peak in like Raikou Lost in Box? I am confused. I don't know why I missed that ditto. I think that's probably a misplay. I excuse there. Do I even want anything off this? Like, I have to be sort of careful with my bench pick. I can't over bench. I think I'm just okay. I'm content doing this, this, and this. I don't feel too pressured by my opponent, but I, I mean, I'm gonna probably drop Manaphy anyway to protect from Amazing Raikou, so I might as well drop it now when my opponent. Ice Cube or Flying Pika? Well, in this particular build, Ice Cube because we don't have the space for Flying Pika, but in general, I prefer Flying Pika. I, I will join a Parasol in this list. So uh, we don't just lose it to Temple, but I uh, there's like no space. Like I, I'm cutting consistency for luxuries because this deck is definitely more inconsistent, and then we just add more bad cards to our deck, and we can't draw cards. We can't shut our opponent down. So in this in this instance, because we have other water energy attackers, we're sort of limited to to Ice Q. But um, I definitely prefer Flying Pika in the law in the Elder Boss build. My has three in the lost sense. We could definitely get spit into. Hopefully not a rope, because a rope would... We don't want to give up any of those things on our bench. But, of course, if... The reason I prefer Flying Pika is it's it's less fragile into um, Dragonite and Temple of Sinnoh. Of course, if decks played Lost Vacuum, then you'd be in trouble. And also, if... Um, it is a little more... Uh, hard to use against hand disruption, which isn't necessarily too big of a deal right now because they don't play Marnie or anything. But if they 
and I don't foresee them playing Marty in the, in the future. Like, like the nice thing about the Ice Cube is you can just like slam the Ice Cube down and just have it in play. Like you Ice Cube wash, and like they can't ever remove that from your hands. So I personally like the Flying Pichu more, but I understand the the Ice Cube. It's sort of a medical thing. Like if Boston Box dropped the Temple of Sinnoh, then it's probably Ice Cube because it's a little more consistent. You don't need quite as many cards in your hand to pull it off. But I think overall, um, Pikachu is a bit safer right now. So four in the lost zone. Double pads of the peak is sort of strange. Uh, capture energy, so probably gonna find a Cramorant and probably going to knock set or hopefully not a rope. That'd be very bad. Uh no. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to sack the normal. I don't want to lose Mancino, and I don't want to lose Manaphy. Mancino it is. Ice cubes are win condition anyway. Um, it doesn't. Flying Pika is better in, into well. Right now, people are not playing a Yellhorn in their uh Reggie's list. But um, if they were, ugh, that's a gross Peonia. Wait, one second. Um, I don't need mine. Like, is mine good? I don't think it is. Like, I just don't carry. I just need cards. Um, flying. It's just weird. Like, if they're playing Yellhorn, flying Pikachu is much easier to um get around Yellhorn because you can just retreat into something else and scoop up at it. But if they, um, and Ice Cube has a much harder time at getting around that. But um, also they're playing Hand Disruption, which sometimes you just like can't build up your Flying Pikachu combo because they're just keep Marnie spamming you. And also uh, Pikachu has one shot them, which is uh, something. Uh, but Ice Cube is a bit easier to pull off, but also it can get one shot by the targeted bolt on the ASR Regilecki. So I think overall, I prefer flying Pikachu. But it doesn't make too much of a difference currently. So I'm gonna gust up their their Snorlax. I think. All right, we want the more pack girl out of here. Yeah, I mean Ice Cube is definitely slower, but I don't think the the time factor matters that much. It's also cool that you can just like max bloom and then put down Lost City and just lost on their Astro Radiance Reggie. There's Ice Q. Ugh. Dang it. This hand's weird. Like, it's so clogged. I think we just. I, I, how close are. They only have four. Like, I don't care. I just don't care. Uh, I think that was definitely a misplay. Was it though? Because I can't one shot. I'm not two shotting crams or or two shotting, or one shotting comfies. But I had a moment here, so could have been. Could be playing a bit too aggressively though. But I just don't feel threatened by the sable eye, and my hands just clogged. Like I have to get into the deck a little bit. Gotta find. I mean, I could just sight lead back in that, and that's just good. So, gotta find that that wash energy. Ultimately, I think the matchup where Flying Pika and Ice Q matter, like which card you play, is what what you think you're gonna face in that Lost Box matchup. Like, if you're gonna play Temple of Sinnoh, then you want to play uh, Pika, and if they're um, not playing Temple of Sinnoh, you probably want to play Ice Q. Because also, Wash Energy does have a little bit of synergy with Radiant Greninja, so. I don't know. It, I don't, it doesn't make too much of, of a difference, but like if, if people are going to net deck um, Nicholas Moffat's 60 from Nox, you definitely want to be playing for Flying Pikachu, but it, it just depends on the way the meta goes. So, our opponents. I mean, it would be something if they got to 10 this turn. They're only at 6, though. They came in Mirage Gate. Not. I mean, right, let's find a Wash Energy next turn deck, please. I would greatly appreciate the Wash Energy. 
sorry if the lighting in this room is kind of jank. Like, I just realized, like, how much light is on my face cam. <laughs> not, not that you guys need to see my ugly mug, but... <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of... The light up there is just shining right above me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take the knockout on the Snorlax. So he promotes the Numble, I think. Alright, Carrier... We don't like... Er, I think you're okay, because it gives us discardable cards. Because our hand is full of cards that we, like, sort of like. And nothing that we actually want, really. <laughs> okay, Wash is good. Okay, this is the play this turn. We could maybe get the checkmate this turn, right? I played two nets, right? Okay, so I think double heads always happens. Oh, all right, GG. GG. Awesome. Never punished. Triple net. And the block face. What could possibly go wrong? Temple of Sinnoh. <laughs> all right, 50 damage. Yeah, those were twins so much better because I can two shot these crams. It's gonna take me a lot longer to take these knockouts. But yeah. I don't I don't think hopefully, hopefully it doesn't end up mattering. It only matters if they play Temple of Sino or Equine Horn Rope or something. I say Nets. So they have instantly scoop, which makes me worried that they like they're playing Path of the Peak. Do they seriously have space for um Temple of Sino? You never know. It, it's ladder. Balloon. So I'm really confused. There aren't a lot of switching cards. It's gonna be hard for them to move things around. And Ultra Ball. They're playing Ultra Balls. That also is. What if, what if they're playing Gudra? That'd be incredibly frustrating at this point. No, they're playing Tina. With metal. Oh, I got thrown for a loop there with the metal energies. GG, dang it. I've seen this card b before in their, in the list in Lost Box as like a hard check to uh, find Pika in control, but uh, dang it. Well played. Uh, I was, I, th I thought we had it there. All right, let's see if we can hop into a tournament. Well, I'm gonna try to stream until 4 p.m. here. She's like another 45 minutes. Can we get into a tournament? Are there any control cards? Um, need to be units always going to be as good as the climate it is in. Like if it's a, I I'm concerned it's going to be very good long term because like Lost in a Box playing Drapion is probably going to be a, a thing, and the like, guard work can hit limitless numbers. But I think there will probably eventually be another window for me to be union. Um. I think when Loomis energy comes out, that'll be pretty cool. Uh, because you can just like use like Shadow, like Sh Shadow Mist and use Mana Fee and just like throw in a lot more at attackers. But uh, nothing I really can think of that's like super underutilized right now. I mean, it needs to be even as a win condition in and of itself, but it's, just, it's difficult to play in OHK on metas. Like it was just really uniquely good in that Palkia, uh, Arceus meta, and even early on in, in this meta, but it's just like, impossible in the current climates to play it. But, I'm yeah, I, I, not, not I can think of other than that. It'd be interesting to see, like, if Ditto gets any good attackers post-rotation. I mean, I'm really not, nothing super impressive uh, power creep-wise. I mean, yeah, just power level-wise. Yeah, those those could could be interesting for sure. I mean, Lost in Cards is just really good. Um, and and on, and on basic, it's interesting. Like if we can get some decent energy acceleration, those would definitely be some solid cards. But yeah, as of right now, not a great way to accelerate to them. But yeah, I definitely see what you, what you're what you're thinking for sure. Going second, darn it. 
Uh, no, open key gets bad. I mean, he's fought through a tree, but this is where another where ice key is better because he can just net it up. But we're against a bot. They're playing the Urshifu. Yeah, I faced this last stream. I faced. Is this the same person? Oh my goodness. How much. I, I'm, I'm, they're going to have Urshifu B. This hat. What is this like? I wonder if. Like, this is like tinfoil hat here, but it's like TCGO just like. Have like bots just to fill up their tournaments? Because it's like the second time in the last two streams I've done where I've hit this Urshifu 59 energy deck. Are we interested to see if it's the same person too? Because if it's not the same person, I get even I'd be even more suspicious. Alright. They're and they they're doing the same emojis or whatever. Alright, yeah, definitely a bot. Yeah, and I think it's gonna be tough for me to be union. Like if we got something that like weak guard energy got reprinted, I'd I would be a lot more optimistic about it. What I think boss. Um but, and then, like, at least post-rotation, like, Mew's going to be pr pretty good. I mean, Gardevoir has Zacian that can hit 310, so... Uh, it's it's pretty tough, I think, for... Uh, for me to be union right now in this current climate. Like, it's going to be... Like, Frog. Ah, of course, your prize. You always are prize. Fine, Pikachu VMAX. Come on, buddy. That's all right. I use Thundershock. Like it's 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 all good. It <laughs> gets Urshifu for fifty nine energy. Boom paralysis. Brownie face to that robot. Lugia Gudra. No. I'm sorry. Well, oh hey CJ, how's it, how's it going? We. I was I was wondering if you'd stop by. <laughs> all these bad ideas that you and Fancy Deck throw out. I, no, we are not doing that. Okay, good. All right. Well, doesn't matter. Just don't throw back in the flying Pikachu. And we good. We beat the bots. We finally get a win, chat. <laughs> it's been kind of a rough stream. Had a uh, bit. Uh, I mean, I had that. Our first game I played was on me. I should but I lost in my vacuum turn one. But then the rest of it's just been like we bricked out in the second round. We we beat the robot again. I mean, just, it'd be hilarious if this like if this bot account ever wins tournaments. Cause that'd be that'd be funny to, to see or she could fifty nine energies take down a tournament. All right, cool. Oh, we have, and we, we have a lightning damage challenge. So optimal. And cool, but yeah, we gotta, now we gotta wait because we faced a bot. So unfortunate. So what what do we do now? We can do we open a pack, or do we? Let's see what kind of packs we have. What kind of fun could we have? No, if I do try to pull, I try to pull the fork and. I have quite the light, the wide selection here. What what what, what do we think in chat? What what pack? And no one recommend a theme deck, or the Pikachu trainer or anything like that, or that'll be <laughs> ignored. I have any silver tempest? I traded it all. Oh no, alright, well, I guess, oh, we'll wait on that, so. Ah, uh, man, two rounds again. These two rounds are, I understand why streamers just, just play ladder now, because this is bad. Just having to sit here for, in between rounds, doesn't make very good content. But, of course, that, that, that's okay. It's just, I, I gotta use these, these ticket up. For TC Live, so. Actually, but next turn, I'm going to play Quad Aer Aerodactyl. And we're going to see if I can win more than one game. Because I, I probably can beat an, an NPC in the first round. But can I win more than one round? Like, that's... 
That's the real question. Right, come on, tournament. Please. I don't have all day to sit here. Now I'm stepping back, back and forth here. Uh, man, what, what do we do? Uh, I don't know. I've already deleted all my junk decks. <laughs> I guess we just sit here and wait. So if you have any questions, chat, I can devote my full attention to answering them. <laughs> but I, um, if, if any of you in chat have not voted on my community tab, uh, can you please do that? Because I'm going to, to use those like comments for my video uh, I make on Sunday. So if any of you could have your experience with TCGL uh, or just have a, a comment you, you, you'd like to add, I, it'll probably be used for the video. And I'd like to have a decent sample size uh, for that video. So if you could please uh, vote in that. And if it, it'd be awesome if you could sh share that around. And um, do, I do not have all the celebration stuff yet. I need to trade for that. But I'm not, I have a lot of, I have a decent bit of celebration, but I don't have all of it. I need I need to, 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 to trade for that. That's like the one thing I like haven't gotten. All right, great celebrations. Um, like I have a lot of it, but it's not everything. It's definitely something I, I I probably should do. I, I have extra to which I'm sure people like just want. So if, if, if any of you guys need the stuff, I can trade them over to you. I don't. I don't mind. You got five, five flying Pikachu Vs. Twelve of the super playable Cosmo arms. <laughs> I have one Zacian V, which is like actually going to be good when when Guardi comes out. I think you're only going to be playing one though, so not too big of a deal. I've only played one Surfing Pika, which is kind of funny. Alright, one more game. One more. Hopefully, we, we actually get a decent game in the second round, like a game of Lugia or Lost Box, something like that. We actually can play the deck. We're not just like playing aggro, flying beak, and turn one. Oh. Well, now we play the waiting game. <laughs> Come on, game. I wish one feature I wish I've added and I've like wanted this for a very long time is that if your round was ready, you could just play it. And it doesn't matter if like, all people were ready, you could play your round. And this I think since like they started doing these tournaments like way back in the day. Many, many years ago. But they never added that. <laughs> Ugh. So it's taking even longer than usual. I mean, probably seems that way because we finished in like five seconds. Yeah, you're back. Welcome back. Hi, back. <laughs> you haven't missed out on, on, on anything much. I, I beat a bot deck in the first round of this tournament. And other than that, nothing. <laughs> I haven't said, yeah. I was waiting for another game, but PCGO never likes to make things easy for us. Uh, cool. That was another tournament that I worked in the second round. Familiar scenario for today. Uh, come on. Uh. What do we even do here? All right, fine. I'll leak the top secret deck. I'm sure. Do not look up, by the way. Okay, I'm not gonna look up. All right, not looking up. Not going to. I promise. But like, my camera's down. So I'm like looking down into it, and then like I'm looking at chat. I'm like looking up at the monitor, or whatever. So it's just like, yeah. I will not look up. 
Fine. Have it your way. I will just look straight ahead, right into your eyes, the whole stream. <laughs> oh, man. Dang it. Why is this nothing easy here? Nothing about the Pokemon trading card game is easy. <laughs> Uh, I'm just clicking back and forth on the, on the screen over and over again, and nothing has changed. <laughs> Come on. I was hoping that things would not be this painful just to get... get... <laughs> keep, keep things going. But yeah, let's let's make a deck with a deck. Like let's just do that. Why why not? Um, what what card should we pick? Yeah, see, Jack was here for a bit. I don't know if he's still in here. He was here. What card should we pick, man? See, Jack, you pick. For our, our for, we're making BDIF, and this is the best way to build BDIF. Uh, we we speak Lugia V star, mill tank. All right, you got it. Deck wizard. There it is. Uh, oh, I have one of each art. That's just tragic. Um. All right. What did you even give us? What, where's our mill tank? I demanded a refund. What is this? Okay, try again, I guess, John. <laughs> we will try again. Alright, go. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, look at this beauty. Alright, this is BDF. Cool. Boom. We did it. I should play this song. Yeah, you even could get it open on this with, with this on, on ladder. I maybe could just with straight up mill tank. It's definitely possible. But Tetris Berry, what does this card even do? <laughs> oh my goodness! What an elite deck. Twenty fire energies. Like we got the gutsy pickaxe. Don't worry. And we have B, but no fighting Pokemon. <laughs> oh well. We'll keep it around. Just 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 for the memes. Just for the memes. And our tournament is still not moving. Uh, this better be a good game. Like I, I'm not gonna wait all this time to get another bot. Like that'd be very disappointing. <sighs> what deck do we show off next? We just, um, be actual BDIF, actual, just straight up boring BDIF, Lugia. It's boring, but it's pretty good. I'm sure you've heard of this deck by now. I haven't updated this, this build in a minute. I think Kim Toughness is pretty solid, but I don't, I, I don't know. I'd probably just take a vacuum or cologne if I were playing it in Vancouver this weekend, but we're not, so I haven't changed it. I do, I, I love Bird Keeper. I don't think I can play the year without Bird Keeper. I'm just too paranoid of facing control. And the card is just pretty, pretty good in general. Urgh, come on. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, next time I'm gonna have to like write a script of like things to say when we're stuck here, but I did not. So now we're just going awkwardly back and forth between screens, waiting for the next round to start. So we can play a couple more tournaments today. Like I don't have that much time to stream and then we get screwed over by people who take forever and NPCs, you make these games go super fast. Oh, well. Wow. What can we do about it? 
Yay, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. We can play Pokemon cards again. Yay. <laughs> All right. Giratina deck box means confirmed Giratina. They can't play any other deck. The Avelto Lugia deck from Japan. Um, I've never, I haven't actually played any uh, games with, with that deck, so I don't really have an opinion on it. But it looks interesting, but I haven't played anything with it, so I can't give you like a good answer if it's good or bad or not. Tom face, we're against Lost Zone Blocks. So that capture energy gets frog. Okay, so we have the fine Pikachu V, but not the V Max. Never, never can be easy around here. Luckily, we have the Peonia. So we get the frog. Conceal cards. This is a parasol, but not much else. So against the Reg and pass. Not great, not great. Yeah. Uh, I hate when we prize flying Pika in the one matchup we need it. Okay, come on. Oh, it's Gudra. Okay, so we, we don't need flying Pikachu in, in this matchup. We're fine. We just go El Elias loop. Hopefully they're not playing Choice Belts. If they're playing Choice Belt, we, we need to bait that out and then vacuum it. So there's a scoop of nets. There's not Comfey. Going for that flower selecting. So we need, we just need to work down the deck and go for an the boss loop and then eventually deck them out. Boss sorted is a nice drop. We switch, Comfey, and so there's three in loss there. Temple isn't any big of a a deal at all. We actually don't mind it at all because we can then just drop the Galar Mind the counter. Oh, that I'm very thankful for that, Marty. I hate it bad. Okay. Come on, good hand here. Not so much. It went from bad to worse. So, okay, but we're going to definitely conceal cards that twin energy. So we thin the Pika, grab Snorlax out there. We have double Eligos. Don't need twin energies too badly. Yikes. So I'm going to fence the lax, gust the goo, and then sonar back quick ball, I guess. I could grab boss's orders too. But we're trying to gust the, the goo to make life difficult for them and maybe get them to miss for a little bit while we, while we buy some time. We're gonna to use the slip and trip. The gear, chorus. I'm very scared that that they play lost vacuum because we, a lot of those newer um, Gudralists have been playing um, choice belts, so they can one shot our Cape Delagos. which would obviously be very bad. We lost a couple energies and a gate. Currently, we're not removing energies, so. Dang it. What's up? What's, what are the odds that they take an knockout here? I'm going to say pretty low. They need to have... I mean, they, they lost on a gate. I, I could get punished really bad here, but I don't think it's very likely that they take a knockout. You just have six card hand. VIP. So yeah, they got at least one useless card. And just pass. All right. Never punished. Don't want to drop the cape, so we'll Sydney. That was a solid Sydney. Their hand is pretty bad, actually. Do I, I don't care. I'll, I'll bench Mel Tank for an extra card. And then plus four. We need our final drawing cards. Not very good cards, but we're drawing them. So, hopefully, our, considering our punch hand, they're probably going to be able to start a attacking, but. It'd be awesome if we could have one more turn here, just... I mean, we just need to get through the deck. That's the most important part. The scoop of net, and yeah, the Snox is going to go down. Oh, wait, they're going to go with the Cramorants. That's interesting. They're not going to go for the one-shot. Oh, they're worried about Miltank. 
right, I'm okay with that. I will definitely live with that. So we're gonna promote the Regilecki. Double drop the Galar Mine. Speed Energy. Um, then we will conceal cards, the twin. I should just play these quick balls and thin things out. I am not playing this. Okay. You know what? I'm going to start here actually now that I now considering our draws. And we will do this. And then do this. And get forest. And a net, I think. Yes. Very good cards. And we can start getting our deck down to pretty much zero. Hopefully Primate does not have a money, but they already spent one, so I think it's pretty unlikely that they play a second one. Or at least have it raw in hand. So, yeah. I mean, Starly Star is going to go down, but I don't really care. We just want to get to the deck to zero, so we can start looping. I can uh, Regilecki to reuse the Chorus, so we are looking fine. I don't want to get this glare. I'm going to move over. <laughs> it still kind of glared, but better, I think. Maybe we can. Yeah. Uh, the glare is really bad, but. <laughs> oh well. There is a chorus. And it's a spit for the knockout. Alright. Try to reposition here. <laughs> I'm going to the Regilecki. Lucky. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to quick ball and at least just thin an Eldegoss out of the deck. That way, if we don't have like any really tough decisions off a, like we, we want to just like draw like energy in, in Eldegoss and to just have the loss of like two energies. All right, easy choice. I can sell cards. I'll net this dude. And then we will, I'll speed energy to... Get into the deck a little more, and then sonar back chorus. No, I don't need chorus. I need net to pick up our guys. So taking that knockout, and then we just we're, we're getting there. Fourteen cards left. Temple of Sinnoh is a oof. Right, yeah, we need to account for that for sure. Yeah, that was a bit of an oversight. I need to account for Temple of Sinnoh. They've only played it once. Yeah, we need to be careful. We can't just leave ourselves looping without any answer to Temple of Sinnoh. Who a rod getting awesome. That's intriguing. Of course, experience. They play a ton of switching cards. I am scared because they have a lot of nets left, so even they could just zigzagoon nets, bam. Okay, now now they can't. They have awesome. Not another net. So it's another Gudra V. I'm, I might have to gus that up. They can't have too many energies left in that nine card deck. Yeah, they have zero. That was definitely a misplay. So they attach. So they have a switching card. They've played a lot already. They lost soon to one net. They have two switches down. One rope down, one net down. Yeah, they. So they rope. I can either sack the frog or the Regilecki. I think we just do the Regilecki. Your Aiden Granger can keep us moving. Even if they like Marnie us again. So yeah, I don't I don't mind this. They're gonna rolling iron. Take that knockout. I'm gonna gust the Gudra V, I think. No, I, I just wanna get, get in. I just, I just wanna keep drawing cards. I just want to get my deck down to zero. I don't care what. Um I don't yeah, I, I don't need to trap them. I'm just going to win. So I'm going to consider cards. I want to twin energy. Okay, this is a good card. Speed energy. So I think all right, we thin the Hisuian. We don't want to redraw that. We attach the parasol and then we sonar. I'm gonna sonar back a Galar mine. That way we have a Temple of Sinnoh bump in hand. Alright. Cool, cool. They probably have two one or two temples left. So we have our Lost Vacuum and our Galar Mine left to make sure we have enough answers. Then we're going to Chorus, Net, and then start looping. So there's a Rolling Iron. We don't mind. We got we got everything going here. 
So chorus. Take those three wonderful cards. Oh, the goss. Take a chorus. Take a chorus. Attach, attach, net. And then we float up. And this is where we find out whether they, they played choice belt or not. Maybe could have benched the Radiant Greninja as insurance. Yeah, I probably should have. I probably should have kept the Radiant Greninja down. Yeah, okay. This living, living life risky, but living on the edge. I, I, it would be kind of funny to take a punish like this, but. <laughs> so, come on. No, no belt. Oh, they played second Marnie, though. That's not great for us. Oh, man. Now we got to. Oh, 22 cards now. Darn it. I mean, we, we can court. Oh, no, in the second temple. That was her third temple. That's really good for them. So we need to find we need to find Stadium Bump and uh, the Kiva Toughness. Those are the two most important cards. Double Turbo is not that important. Course is experiments. Yeah, that's it. Are you kidding me? This is a heck of a way to. Ah <sighs> no. Actually, we're not we're not done yet. We lose to boss's orders. Ugh. Dang it. Today's just not been my day. One boss's order is gone, so they probably have access to that final one. Darn it. Mar Marnie does two Marnies in Gudra. Capture on the um, Kumfe. We should be able to stabilize if our opponent cannot find that boss. They probably play two or three. Oh, there's a gear. The, probably have it then. The eight guard deck is the same seven. Oh, chorus. So they just play one boss. Oh my goodness, no. I mean, I should rope his game too. Uh, yeah. They probably play. They probably ha have another rope, right? Two down, one in the lost zone. Probably. Nope, just a rolling iron. We are still alive somehow. <laughs> somehow. So we need. Cape and Stadium Bump. There is step one. Cape is good. So there we go. We have relocked. Right? So we go boom. 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 And then float up. But now we are... Uh, we're, now we're like a weird spot again. Because we have seven cards in the deck, and we just need to draw cards. Because we need to find out that all the We have we have another chorus in deck. I think we have another one, right? Yes, we have one. We have our other other chorus in deck. We have two live top decks. Or then we can also. Um, okay, great. As long as Elias is in the bottom card, perfect. All right, things have uh, turned up here. So we can grab that chorus with, with, with the happy match, attach, attach, and float up. And now, I think they would have slammed down choice belt by now, so I think we have this one. Definitely scary, but we got there in the end. I think we, I think, I'm surprised we only had one boss. Yeah, wow. That was a heck of a game. And we get a match right away. That's awesome. So cool. Cool, cool. Ugh. All right, so against, against <laughs> Meteor Pigeon and six viewers, guys. You guys are awesome. That's pretty funny. We won the coin flip. All right, I'm gonna give away all the the packs from from, from this game. So, um, just whoever types in chat first, uh, they want them. I'll give them to you. 
any of you now four viewers. Okay, Lugia, fun. So, how do we want to do this? I have Bird Keeper. I have... Alright, I think I just want to do this first. Alright, I do this. But like, I don't... What do I do next? I think I just pass. Because I don't want to discard... I can quick all Bruno, I suppose. But I'm just going to be grabbing Starly anyway for next turn. So I think I can... I, I'll quick ball and grab Starly and, and just pass. Because we have the, the, the Bird Keeper to... Okay, for second half, I probably start the elegant. I hope no. All right, good, good. So Starly and then pass. Then we can bird keeper Starly pop, and then uh, we are a little susceptible to uh, double dip fangs. Then, but I don't mind too much. I think we just um, because it is a bit of a resource commitment to get um, Starly into the active spot. There's an an, an ultra ball. It's a double archaeops. Oof. Pause off to you a good start. So, yeah, there's another, we got another Archaeops. So, I guess they're going to be playing a research then. They're just going to read the wind. Alright. So, our hand isn't great. So, we'll put on the twin energy. Oh, no, I don't want to twin energy. I'm a bird keeper. What, what am I thinking? So why it's sometimes nice to talk through your plays because you realize, oh yeah, I'm not going to, why, why am I doing that? I'm going to Starly and use that key now. I'm going to Chorus so I can start drawing cards as well as a Sydney, I think. So I have that pain disruption as well. I have a Cape, have an energy. Yeah, this is good. I could maybe stash, I, I could go on like Cape Energy on a bench to but I didn't want to get it gusted up. But I could get, oh, get punished pretty bad by a Marty too. So, yeah, probably should have at least put an energy on one of the bench guys. We're interested to see if this finds a Stoutland or a Luminion. Because they'll get Luminion if you need Cart Dunsparce. So they probably have a research already in hand. They're going to keep thinning. Okay, yeah, they found Dunsparce. All right. Manaphy, so they have more thinning. Wow, they've they found all of their, a lot of their ball search cards. So there is a Luminion, and I have to imagine that's going to be a Marnie, so darn it. Not, not great for us. Definitely got punished by, by not dropping at least one of the energies on one of those Yveltals. So yeah, darn it. Never like making misplays like that. Never, <laughs> never very, very fun. Well, this getting Irida, so they shouldn't like guarantee grab Lugia, but not to rub my hand. That just seems sort of too passive, because I you have to imagine my hand stacked after that Starly. All right, I'm I'm okay with this line from my opponent, but I don't, yeah, I don't think it's the right call. Because here comes that Primal Turbo. The hand's not terribly big, so I'm not going to Sydney this turn. They're putting energy on the Luminion, it's going to retreat. Okay. So it's going to fish into the fish. Okay. Grab a boss's orders. Alright, how did... We need to now attack with Snorlax. The... Our Snorlax is going to be a good attacker here. Also, Cape is pretty good. Okay, it's Thornton, Cape Capture. And what? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, huh. How are we going to go about this? Because I can capture like Snorlax, but then I'm not attaching to it. So I think I can seal cards out this energy. It just ended up being that way anyway. You'll grab the Snorlax. Go Cape, Cape, Mine, Pass. And then we can maybe start. Um, I mean, they're, they're down two energies. They gave us two energies off that, uh, for, to get to that first Aqua re return play. But they're going to, to maintain the loop, they're going to have to at least dig into the deck a little more or um, bring up something that they'd have to retreat. And we can start putting energy on, on the Snorlax and maybe. 
uh, maybe uh, Thumping Snore and take a knock on one of those Archaeops or this Looming Yama. Both would be very beneficial. So they're just going to Aqua return straight up. So will they go back into it in Archaeops? They do. Okay. It, I get the hint. You want me to Sydney? Not yet, Dak. Not yet. Um, so we quick ball out Manaphy and find I think I'm Snorlax. Wait, I screwed that up. I had Thumping Snor. No, I didn't. I, I couldn't move, move the active. I could have net quick ball Thornton in. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna Sydney then. Oh my goodness. No wonder they didn't research. Okay, I'm gonna hold the energy. All right, that's that's good. That's good. We take this. That was an amazing Sydney. So four energies with one prize taken. So we have twelve energies left. So we're probably yeah, we're gonna see a speed wing. Oh man, I think it's a missed opportunity with a quick ball. The quick quick, quick ball down that lax for a Thornton play later. Oh well. I wonder if they'll start. Yeah, they're gonna start attacking. They're putting down powerfuls. All right, so boss orders. They're gonna take out that Radiant Green Ninja. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I know that they don't have energies in, in hand in all likelihood, so I'm just going to gust this Lugia, force him to commit more energies to it, and then. Cry. There's three off that Archaeops. And then there it is. So that is seven gone, six, seven, nine left for four prizes to go. And they have to commit some to this Lugia. We don't have an energy though. We can seal cards. I could have. But yeah, we, I can, we can seal cards out of that double turbo, which maybe was a misplay now looking back. Maybe could have done that differently. Oh well, maybe. Dang it, dang it, dang it. You see that primal turbo? And, all right. I had energy in hand. Missed opportunity with the Sydney. Uh, yeah, bump that Gower mine. No surprise there. All right. Do we just do this? I don't really want to drop those Eldegoss because I know they have boss in hand. But we sort of have to do it. Alright, we got the energy. This is. Oh, I should, Oh, crap. I should have put the cape on the Eldegoss. Dang it. I think. Did they have any powerfuls left? Okay, they have one. So maybe it wasn't as bad of a play. Seven, eight, nine, ten, six energies left. Okay, they, they commit four. Oh, I've scuffed this game, I think. Definitely scuffed this one. Alright, so they're going to commit energies to Luminion. So they're going to go for an Aqua return play. They're going to. So they're going to exhaust the two energy. I don't know if that's cool. They have boss orders in hand. Right? Or wait, or did they use that to gust my Greninja? Am I just wrong? Am I just am I tripping? So awkward turn. Four, five, so that's five, seven, ten, twelve. Four left. Ugh. How do we go about this? Do we Sydney? I'm just. Boss City's kind of spicy. I don't think Sydney is the call. Hmm. They can't take this knockout on this Snorlax. I just do this. And I, I, I put this here. All right, this is kind of scuffed. This game is definitely scuffed pretty badly, but 
if they go for a speed wing, I mean, they probably shouldn't speed until they have Gust, right? Definitely this game is really... I could maybe just put the speed on, on the, in the active 2 and threaten the Thumping Snar. That could have definitely been a line too. Probably was a better play, actually. Now that I think about it for a second. Okay, they're going to commit an Aurora Energy. And Research, wow. Greed hence, did I see that right? Oh my goodness, they're one of those greed and builds. Wow. Maybe we can hit a Sydney now because. Should I, isn't it always wiser to Primal Turbo before? I guess they're trying to find a Luminion to Primal Turbo onto. There is a Luminion. Let's see that. how many energies. 5, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 3 left. Yeah, I agree, Fancy Duck. I don't... I didn't honestly think it was going to be this this good. Like, when I made my first video, I, I didn't, I didn't know, like, I honestly thought I had zero views. You're my ninth subscriber. You, uh, yeah, I remember you pretty early on there, but... I mean, thank you for... Which, which was your, the first video that you saw? Was it the Dracovish one? Ooh, they just passed. Oof, no hit. Uh, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to cry this energy off, right? Is that the call? I bench the lax again. So they have three energy left. They can't attack with Lugia. All right. Eight, ten. Um, so it's twelve. Thirteen. They have three energies left. Ugh. So three energies left. So they only can speed wing one more time. And they can't pivot this this, this Archeops. Unless they have Birdkeeper. I think we just lose to, to Birdkeeper. Yeah, because I think Bird Keeper into they probably have, have a double turbo left. But we have we, we can go Thornton and cry if um if they just speed wing for the knockout here. But but they can't attack they can't speed wing with a double turbo. They have to awkward turn. But they're sort of stuck. Like are they gonna bench pump kaboo? This game has been very weird. Yeah, wow. This has been a strange game for sure. Fitting one to, to for the finals. And it's also funny that my opponent playing Glugia has three less minutes than me. But I'm I'm playing the deck that's supposed to be slow. They're broken hearted. Maybe they prize energy. They must have. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. That one was that was at the right. Place at the right time. I just traded that radiant turn just day one, because uh, I knew people were gonna be looking for it. And that video is one of the worst videos that I created. It was the first voiceover video that I ever did. So my music is way too loud. Like that video is garbage, but it got a ton of views, which is hilarious. But it's it's not a very high quality video, which but it's like my second most viewed video. All right, any, anyone want these packs? Any of you four lovely people in chat want these six packs? I'll give it oh, give him one person to comment. In the meantime, we'll open my two packs. Oh. Yeah, it was it was bad. That was not a very good video. That was I sort of I'm not pre I, I I think I, I rushed that video. Because uh, I wanted it to be the first on YouTube, but it was not good quality. Like that was that's, I, I it's so stupid. Like what the algorithm picks up, because, oh, where did you draw a V star? Five logs of those now. Um, because my two two of my most viewed videos, my Mew Max Dreepy one, and that one are two of my worst videos. Because I scuffed that me one, and I was so tired and sick when I was editing that video. Then the audio is. The audio is behind the the gameplay. Yeah, that that video is garbage. It got a ton of views, and I, I think most of us from the YouTube recommended like the algorithm just picked up for some reason. 
So, yeah, that, that video is trash. Like, if, if it was, I'm sure it would have a, a lot more views if it wasn't, if it wasn't so bad. But that video was horrible. It's, it's funny sometimes what the algorithm chooses to, to show you, because yeah, that, that video is not very good. All right, anyone, any, any, any three, three people want these packs? I'll happily keep them, but I'm also happily give them away. Um. Okay, that's, I mean, that's one of the things that I've really tried to... I, well, the thing is, I don't have a PC, so... Yeah. Um, it's, I'm, that's like what I'm making my video on Sunday for, because I'm not sure in three weeks I'll be making content anymore, which like really, really makes me sad to think about, but... I don't know, like, TC Life sucks, and I don't know what direction I'm going to ha have to go. It's, 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 it's frustrating. But I'll, we'll find a way. But it's, it's, something's going to have to change, because as TC Life is right now, I cannot make content for it. Like, I was trying to record the tournament I was playing yesterday to uh, make a video out of it, and it lags so bad. I could not record and play at, at the same time. I mean, I could, but no one's going to watch it. Like, no one's going to... I mean, I, I myself am going to want to play on live so I can play the the new cards. So it's it's a it's a crap situation for sure. I I I just don't know. That that's why I'm making the video on Sunday. Like sort of like a cry for help. That like maybe maybe if I yell loud enough for long enough that someone will hear my hear my cries and try to fix things. Like maybe if um yeah, it is. It's it, it's a garbage video. Like the audio is behind the gameplay. But the algorithm picked it up and got like twenty seven thousand views in like forty eight hours. It was ridiculous. Like it picked it up for like six days, got it all the way up there, and now it, it, it like put it down yesterday. But it's like almost up to three k views. Like doesn't make very much sense. That my two best videos are my two worst quality ones. Like uh, I, I think the ones I didn't do voiceover were pretty bad too. But at least at least the the audio wasn't scuffed. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can. Like my setup is not very high budget, but I'm just trying to. Hopefully, my insights, like some, like sort of, show through my, my poor setup, and I like there's still things to be learned. Like despite my, despite despite the, despite the circumstances, like there's still things to be learned. But I don't know. It's like I'm, I'm just like shocked. It really like, anyone. If they put their mind to it, can do. Well, the thing is, I can I, I have people I can do IRL with, but I also need to purchase like. I would need to set up. I would need to have, like a webcam and set everything up. So it, it would cost money too. Um, I'm gonna find a way. I'm. Well, we're we're gonna find it. I've. But like, like I was saying, like, if you put your mind to do something. You can you, you can do anything. Like I'm doing this with this this setup. Aside from time, this setup has cost me zero dollars. But I've put in the time and effort to make daily content, and I and it might not be fun. It might not be easy all all, all the time, but I've I've done it. And l l look how how much that I've grown with my zero budget, with my terrible low budget setup. So like imagine. What's like I, I'm sure this channel could be in a much better spot if I, I actually had the resources to really make my setup better and had the time to make it better. But unfortunately, I don't, and that's fine. That, that's just the situation that I'm in. I can't complain about it. But I'm just I'm just blessed to be in the situation that I'm in to have what 260 subscribers with with what with what little I have. I have nothing to complain about, and I have I mean I have you guys in chat to to talk to. What else does someone need? I th thank you guys. Thank you. I'm, I'm sure we're going to, I'm sure I'll, I'll figure something out. Like hopefully, like I, and, and it's not just me, like other people have just found mobile unplayable on TCG live, which is just, it's, it's a, like I, I was on Gabe Smart's stream the, the, the other night and I was just, um, I think it was C, C Jeff was saying a huge try, tried to play it and it's his phone just overheated. Like I, I think it, it's fine on PC. Like the, this is like not quite as choppy, not quite as laggy, but like on Mo Woods is unplayable. So, yeah. 
Well, unless, since none of you guys want my packs, I think I'm just going to wrap up stream here. Unless you guys have any final questions, um, I'm going to wrap things up. And um, uh, I got to make my video for tomorrow. But I, I should be back live sometime next week. But yeah, thank you, uh, F Fancy Duck and Rubica, especially. You guys, you guys are awesome. You don't, uh, yeah, you. Really, you guys, you guys are the other best. So just thank you everyone so much, and I'll see you next time.